All right, Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, we want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessed of the hope for let Shalom. On the brother Kazak, to my writers. Yashuma. All right, we're going into how it's the time of the promise. You got it, bro. This is a book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold. Hey, yeah, hey, you know what? That that goes back to the book of Isaiah. All right. See, the promise entails Israel being restored, and also the earth, the planet earth being restored. You know, everything being set back up in this original order. You know? So this thing is big, what we're a part of. You got it, bro. Yeah. And it says, um, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Yep. So, you know, it was always, you know, a certain time period, you know, the most I had set, you know, that he would eventually awaken. All right. That remnant. You see, what we're finna inherit is an ancient promise. All right. Made to our forefather, Abraham. And it was passed down to Isaac and passed down to Jacob. You know, and it, it was uh, uh, spread out throughout the patriarchs, the 12 patriarchs, which mm -hmm. makes up the 12 tribes. You see, now we in a time where we're finna come into the totality of their promise. You know, we had little spurts, you know, little preludes of the promises. Brothers always mention, you know, when you go into the time of King David, you know, Joshua, you know, bringing the children of Israel into the uh, promised land. You know, Solomon had the 40 years of peace and abundance. You see, those preludes of the promise. All right, but there wasn't all right the totality of the promise, even when Esau Eden, when he came into power with the Greeks or the Romans, all right, through the sword, all right, that was a prelude of his promise, all right, that he would have in the last days, man. All right. Now he has to the fulfillment of the fatness of the earth. You know, he didn't have it back then. All right. So Esau, he has came into the totality of his blessing, and now we're finna come into the totality of our blessing. All right, which is that promise of world dominion, immortality, all right, uh, 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 abundance, you see, rulership, you know? So this is the time that we in now. So it's a time where their promise is going to be fulfilled. This is the most exciting time to be an Israelite. Yeah, yeah man. You know? And, um, and you know, and uh, the elder, when I desire to send a salute on the comment board, you know, and, um, you know, I've been meditating on it because the brother speaking about the promise, you know, hey, it's big. When we blessing each other in the names Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. When you say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Brakatham, that's a very big deal. It's a very big deal. You know? Hey, bro, can you, Baba Kasha, give me um, Psalms 129? Psalm 129. Kind. And uh, in verse 8. Okay. Because see, Esau Edom, he's not going to bless us in the name of the Lord. We're blessing each other in the name of the Lord. And that's big, man. It's big, you know. So the things that you grow accustomed to, you know, and this is it's routine. It's routine, you know, and we do it, and we mean it. You know, you mean it when you bless, you know, a brother in a name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, or in those names. You know, it's routine, but man, this is uh, tremendous, man. All right, you got it, bro. This is on um, Psalms one twenty nine and eight. Neither do they which go by say. The blessing of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, shall be upon you. See, Esau, you don't ain't doing it. See, this is an Israelite thing. They don't want us to be blessed, man. They, they don't want us to come into our excellency. You know, like, brother, you know, I was speaking on yesterday. They don't want us to come into power, ultimately. Because that's what the promise entails, man. Power. You got it, bro. We bless you in the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, shall. That's big, man. This is big, and I want to uh, elaborate on the other scripture you had brought out. Look, can you get uh, yep, okay, can you get a uh, Bible shot of uh, Isaiah 49 and 8? Yep, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 8. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shema al Shah, and in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in the day of salvation have I helped thee. This is that acceptable time. Mm -hmm. This that time of salvation, brothers. We're about to be saved. Why are we waking up? Why do you see innumerable, 
innumerable um chariot sightings. You got it. It says, and I will preserve thee and mm -hmm. give thee for a covenant of the people yep. to establish the earth to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. Yeah, you see that? Give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth. See that new covenant. First and foremost, it begins with our Lord Yahweh Shai, but also the men that make up his body, the elect. You know, so the new covenant is going to begin with you, brothers, with us, man. You see, as long as we endure, the Lord, he doesn't show you these different signs that he's with you for nothing. But he's going to give you for a covenant of the people going back to that promise mm -hmm. to ultimately establish the earth, to rule the earth. That's what it's all about. You know, you got it, bro. I got a quick one, you know, because the scripture just said how, you know, in the acceptable time, he will preserve us. But part of preserving us is this wisdom. You see, this wisdom and understanding that we have, this is what's going to preserve us for the salvation because we have the wisdom and understanding who our enemy is. All right. We know he's up to no good. We know not to take this man's jab. We know yeah. not to take the mark of the beast. All right. We know not to just be out here willfully sinning. That knowledge is going to preserve you yep. until the salvation. I got a precept, you know, to go into it. Now, when you get, um, uh, when you get Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10, it says, When wisdom enter into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Yep. You know, and what do scriptures say? How the precepts are a lamp unto our feet. You know, which means what? It's a it's a guider. You're we're being guided. We're being preserved, starting off with the wisdom, because it's time for us to inherit the earth. You see, yeah. how could you want to? How could you compare what we got coming to anything in this life, man? It doesn't come close. You, you should hate this place more and more by the second, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't going back to us being preserved by wisdom. That's why you have what I said. You are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's your vessel containing this truth because ultimately this truth is the salt and it preserves us, man. And, and also, you know, we're being covered. Mm -hmm. Our sins are being covered. You know, the Lord, like you said, the Lord is, is guiding us, showing us how to maneuver, you know, how to uh, do this acceptable will of Yahweh Bashem Shah. But it covers your sin, man. Uh, I'm going to get the priest up by the elder. Okay, come. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Yep. Come now. And let us reason together. This is the Heavenly Father speaking to us. Mm -hmm. Say of Yahweh, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Yeah, and the reasoning, you know, like a negotiation. Like when you reason, you know, it's like you are having a negotiation. Hey, because through Yahweh Shai, now the negotiations open back up. You know, like uh, uh, Trump. Trying to have a negotiation with Iran yeah. and Russia, but they ain't trying to talk. You nah. see, that's how the most high was with us. He wasn't trying to talk. You see, he wasn't nothing to talk about. Yep. You know, he was just fed up with Israel. But through your Howard shot, now we got a mediator and we can negotiate. Well, look, all right, y'all in sinful flesh, y'all can't keep the law perfectly. Serve my son, do what he tell you to do, and strive for righteousness. And then I can bring y'all back. Mm -hmm. You see? So now we're we we reason we, we worked out a deal, you know, with the most high. You see? Now, all right, uh 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 uh, uh the Lord is about to purge, you know, is about to uh give us a clean slate. Yeah, you see, but we have to endure, we have to stay within this thing. You can't work and fall out, we gotta stay within this thing, you know. Then if we endure, we receive the promise. If we suffer with your house shot. We're going to rain with them. Yeah. You see? It's like quitting a job. How yeah. you going to expect to get paid? Yeah. But you didn't finish the job. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm going to read verse 27. Yep. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness. Yep. And that's what we're coming into. We're coming to a time where we, we will be redeemed, which is brought back. You see? We're going to be brought back to glory. All right? Mm -hmm. Through who? Yahweh Shah. He's coming. All right? To deliver his people. All right, and set them what back in rulership that's redeeming us, man. All right, because if you have a king, all right, that was conquered by another king and he was uh taken away in the captivity and now is a captive, all right, for that king to be redeemed, he will have fully redeemed, he will have to be loose from captivity and put back in rulership. 
You see? And that's what Yahweh Bashima al Shah, all right, through Yahweh Shah is about to do, you know, for their remnant, the elect. We finna inherit that ever, it's an everlasting promise. No one else was promised an everlasting promise except for the nation of Israel. And we finna come, it's here. All right. Esau, this Esau, that's why Esau was scrambling over the earth, you know, <laughs> trying to lock things down. Yeah. Because of what? The reason your video is getting striped is because he wants to stop the promise, man. You know, that's a it's a it's a direct result of him trying to stop the promise, man. So we should be rejoicing, man. That's right, brother. You know, I got right. one, two, one. You got it. Um, this is on <clears throat> Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for He have visited and redeemed His people. Yeah. So our people, they they knew this. They knew that ultimately the promise would come by way of Yahweh Shah. You see, that's how it's being fulfilled, man. Hey. The Lord, he's so bad, bro. This is really like the greatest script ever wrote. It is. It's, it's the greatest script, the greatest movie, all right, ever wrote. And you living in it, man. And it's really a, a superhero movie mm -hmm. when you get into it. Because Jake is all into that, you know, the Marvel comics or DC comics. You know, you're watching the Avengers, mm -hmm. X-Men, whoever, you know, Superman. Well, well this is it, all right? And you know the Israelites, we're the good guys. We're the heroes. Esau Edom is the villain. Like brother said, it's no coincidence they're locking everything down. Why now? Because we're about to come into that promise. Mm -hmm. We're about to come into that power. And you devils can't stop it, man. Oh. You know, the fact that you have a shot came is really <laughs> already done. You got it? Yeah. Verse 69. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Yeah, going back to that serpent. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Bible Kushak, can you get Genesis real quick, bro? Genesis 3. Mm -hmm. I mean, you already know. Start at verse uh, 14. 14. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the book of Genesis, chapter 3 and 14. All right, Genesis 3 and 14. And the Lord power said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. And it says, Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Now, when you come into the understanding of the, of the uh, truth of the scriptures, you know, like the brother said, when wisdom enters up into your heart, you have discretion. And you're able to break down these scriptures. You're able to spiritually digest these sayings in your mind. You understand that the serpent was not a damn talking snake. All right. It was an Edomite man with color back during that time. OK, it was a man with the spirit of the Edomite. OK. But basically, you know, he had deceived Eve. You know, when Eve brought that same, you know, philosophy to Adam and that brought about the fall of the sons of God. That's what took place. But, you know, basically after, uh, you know, Eve and Adam had went off, you know, the, the prophet ultimately had came to him, you know, because he was a prophet that came to them. You know, they heard the voice of Yahweh power walking in in the uh, cool of the day, walking in the garden. It was a prophet, you know, the mouthpiece of the most high. But basically, they, you know, they got cursed out for following the way of the serpent. Just like our people are following the way of the serpent today. Who are the serpent? Esau, Edom. But, you know, the prophet said, since that was done, this, since you brought about the fall of the sons of God, since you ruined paradise, you're cursed above all cattle. I mean, you're cursed above all the heathen, above all the heathen nations, you know, and above all the beasts of the field. You know, the other nations are compared to beasts because they're lawless. They weren't given the breath of life. Law, statutes, and commandments. And he said, upon thy belly shalt thou go. You know, it was basically, that means that they will be in a lower state. And we saw that during the dark ages, man. And this is over us today. You know, it's so easy a caveman could do it. You know, people bring that saying out. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's because you in power. Mm -hmm. There's nothing special or great about you Edomites. No. The Lord just gave you a kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Nah, you got it, bro. You got something else? Yeah, I got a quick one just bag that one up. And I, you want me to read? Can you read down Genesis? Uh, yeah, we just finish it out and you can speak up. Okay. Uh, this is Genesis 3 and 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. But did it say that the dust shalt thou eat all days of thy life? Did yep. I already say that? Uh, yep. It says, Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Dust shalt thou eat. You know, so so dust is the uh, the serpent's food, his way of life. Because see, uh, uh, knowledge is compared to food. Just like, you know, uh, Eve and Adam, they ate the philosophy, you know. The eight from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was an actual tree. Yeah. You know, trees talking about nations, man. So they followed the way of the other nations. You know, they were surrounding them in the garden. They were, they were surrounding them in their kingdom. Because so we had a kingdom back then, which that's, a, you know, another lesson. All right. But see, the, the serpent, his way of life, his food is confusion. Deception, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and see, that's why he's fighting against the promise. He's fighting against the promise, man. <laughs> you know, and all he can do is lie. And when the lies ain't holding up, he's just gonna bring that sword, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it, brother. His kingdom is established on on, on um, deception. Yep, that's why the main war is spiritual. You know, with with truth versus lies, man. And truth is consuming this man's kingdom. And not only, you know, uh, uh, you know that we have the facts, but the way that the the, the 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 philosophy of the serpent is filling in the earth. Look at look at the yeah. women of the tribes by following the philosophy of the serpent. Yep. They're losing. All right, 80, 85 percent single. All right, and, and they, they don't have any uh, uh, wife skills, any house skills, and who philosophy made them like that? Yep. All right, look at the the Israelite men. You know, as far as the degenerates, because dealing with the Israelite men, like we get on Jake, but see. There's a, a good percentage of Jake, you know, that's still in their traditional role as a man. Con. See, it's just the generous that's exalted that Eve choose. But those the generous of, of, of Jake, all right, which you had 200 rappers, which uh, Elder Manatha Zakba did the video on those 200 rappers died in 2020. What philosophy them 200 niggas live by? Mm -hmm. And what does e Esau say? I mean, what did a serpent say? You shall not surely die. Them mm -hmm. niggas died. Yep. You see, lie to him. So, the philosophy of the serpent is losing in the earth. Yep. You know, so the philosophy of, of life is winning because guess, in the middle of the chaos, we comforted, man. What other doctrine comforts you in the middle of all this chaos is going on? Nothing. Yeah, you know, five women that believe in this way, you know, the way of the serpent, you fell in. You know, scripts say, uh, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You through, and the men are through. Mm -hmm. You know, brother brought the word degenerate. Now we went into it yesterday. We should brought it out through the spirit. You know, a few times because it's, it's an important word because that applies to two thirds of our people. The word degenerate it means a decline from an ancestral standard. What's our ancestral standard? The scriptures, the law, of statutes, and commandments. So Jake declined from that. You know, and that's why you messed up today, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah, you got it, brother. You gotta get something. Yeah, because you said uh, how Esau eat him, how he uh, how dust you know shall be his food. Like he he lives off confusion. He lives off confusion. If he can keep the earth confused, he can uh, he can have a one up. You see, so and and the book of Habakkuk going to that. I just want to get it real quick. You got it, bro. All right, and it says this is Habakkuk one and ten. And they shall scoff at king at the kings, and that's what you see Esau doing. You know, Esau makes mockery of the leaders of these other nations. You know, and, and making mockery of us. We're, we're kings. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. And it says, and the princes shall be a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap up dust and take it. So Esau has heaped up wow. all this confusion in the earth, Damn. and that allowed him to take the earth. Let him take the earth. You know, once he can get you confused, you know, once he can confuse you with his democracy and his feminist movement, and yep. you know, his uh, uh economy, which was nothing but a debt system. See, once he confuse you with all this, and you know, uh, uh do as thou wilt, and all this liberty to have all these religions ruling. All right, your your government. Yep. Once he did that. He was able to take, you know, 
Because while you was confused, arguing about what's right and wrong, he's just constantly gaining power and he's in the background manipulating, man. You see? That yeah, brother had made a point. When you talk with somebody, and when it gets to the point where they, you know, they just constantly talking and you eventually forget what they're talking about, you know, hey, that's how you're dealing with Esau. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how he's running the earth, man. It's like, man, what were we, what were we even talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, because th th this damn double, hey, he going all out, man. But see, he's supposed to do it. And I got a real quick one. Come. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock. Basically, you know, the animals in the kingdom, they're going to be at peace with each other. Mm -hmm. But it says, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. <laughs> dust. Confusion. Hey, because even now, that confusion that he spread in the earth and it come to him. Hey, that's why I should say there's no more wisdom in Tina. Because yeah. he's losing. Now, all right, Esau is in straits. Because I was reading the blacklisted news, they had an article saying how, you know, the propaganda that's working on the rest of the earth is not working, you know, in America because America, you know, they really die by those liberties, man. You see, so he gonna have to try to, you know, redo some some more propaganda, another crisis, you know, just to uh clamp, clamp down more on Americans, man. Yeah, man. Hey, see, uh, the Great Reset is really going to affect you Babylonians the most. Yep. You Americans, like brother said, you're so used to this false sense of liberty. You don't know any way outside of that. And that's why the majority of our people just got to, you know, uh, give up the ghost, man. You know, the, the Lord can't do a spiritual reset on you, though, so you got to physically go out. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to die and be reborn. But I'm going to finish it out. It says, they shall not hurt nor destroy and all my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. And what do you have a shot say? The gates of hell should not prevail yep. against this truth, man. Yep. You know, because this is the kingdom of heaven. You're, you're witnessing the the, uh, the new government. Mm -hmm. When you look at brother's videos, this ain't this ain't me just sitting up reading the Bible. Yeah. You looking at a new government, man, that's coming into uh fruition. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Come on. Going back to Luke, uh, going back to the promise. Uh, this is Luke 1 and 7. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, yep. that we should be saved from our enemies and from all and from the hand of all that hate us. Right. You know, to finish it out, Baba Kusha, can you uh, go back to Genesis? Come. That's right. Right. Uh, verse 15. Now. Okay, come. This is on Genesis 3 and 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. Now, who is the prophet talking to? The serpent. Mm -hmm. You know, the nation of Edom. Back then, they were classified as the serpent. Also classified as the sons of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So he will put enmity, the most high, you know, because the most high speaks through the prophet. The most high will put enmity, enmity or um opposition between the serpent or, or Edom and the woman. And who's the woman? Israel. He ain't talking about Eve right there. You know? See, with the Holy Spirit, you can break down these scriptures, man. The discretion. That's the yeah, the discretion. Mm -hmm. Got it. And it says. And the, it says, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Yep. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. That we, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us. It begins with the serpent. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the main individual that want to take us out. Mm -hmm. But it says, it shall bruise thy head, but thou shalt bruise his heel. Mm -hmm. See, ultimately, we gonna bruise their head, man. You know, that they getting us right now. But what scripture say? Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You know, and see, we on uh they heal, man, in the spirit, but also we on their head, you know. But see, now they got the upper hand. But what you're witnessing is a transition because of the promise. Yeah, you got it, bro. Um, verse 72, it says, To perform the mercy promised to our fathers, promised to our fathers, <laughs> and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swear to our father Abraham. Yep. It all goes back to the promise. Everything stems back to their promise, man. That's a cut on that replacement theology. Yeah. You know, yeah. which that's madness, man. You see? The most high, all right, he, he made it uh, uh, clear, all right, who those covenants were for, man. You know? And we and we are getting to it. And that's why you have a shot king. See, the people of the promise is not replaced, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because that wouldn't make no sense. Because if we're going to be saved from my enemies, well, the enemies... Are other nations? How the hell are they gonna be saved too? Yeah, 
you know but that shows you that christianity that's another thing that's a because christianity is just an, a philosophy of the serpent and it's feeling you know because as you find christians have no clue what the bible is talking about now when you go to um romans all right 15 you know because christian love talk about jesus jesus well what was the purpose all right, of whom you call Jesus, man, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Romans 15 and 8. Now I say that, Ye that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of the Most High to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. You see? Man. So you call, you know, Christian how Jesus, Jesus, well, he, his whole life and his purpose and that sacrifice, all right, was for what? To confirm the promises of the father going all the way back to abraham you see and when you get in um sirach 44 and uh i started at 19 it says this rock this is rock 44 and 19. abraham was a great father of many people and glory was there none like unto him who kept the law of the most high and was in covenant with him he established Man. the covenant in his flesh and when he was proved and, and was in covenant with him see that's another thing too the, the word uh promise is interchangeable with covenant you see and what was the uh the sign or the token of the promise or the covenant circumcision you know but see this is all spiritual because the same way that our forefather abraham was called by yahweh that's how we're being called mm -hmm. you know he was in an uncircumcised state in the spirit uncircumcised in mind you know growing up in babylon for those of us that grew up in america mm -hmm. you know he grew up in earth of the uh chaldees you know we grew up around idolaters mm -hmm. our fathers our mothers mm -hmm. even ourselves but we came out of that lifestyle man you know and 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 it's all based on faith going into a, a direction not knowing where you're going because mm -hmm. going ultimately to the land of promise because mm -hmm. see now we're really going to go into that land all right you got it brother all right um read on and you say verse 20 he said who kept the law of the most high and was in covenant with him he established a covenant in flesh so really abraham repented because he came he went to the law he yep. started keeping the law yep you know and it says um and when he was proved he was found faithful therefore he assured him by an oath that promised that he would bless the nations in his seed and then he will multiply him as the dust of the earth bless the nations in his seed everyone does not come from the seed of abraham all right israel the israelites the 12 tribes are classified as nations each tribe is a nation within itself okay we're a nation and a company of nations mm -hmm. all right so it's talking about us man now you can read again like the latter part come and it says therefore he assured him by an oath that he will bless the nations in his seed and that he will multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea and from the river unto the uttermost part of the land. That's world dominion. And that links to what we brought out yesterday. Yep. With it, Psalm 72. 72. Yep. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's going into your house shot. This is the kingdom of heaven, man. You can't make it up. <laughs> you got it, bro. All right. Now it's gonna go into the specifics, you know, because if people sit hear the word nations, and then they try to get in, inclusive, you know. That mean know, everybody. Yeah, no, the most high is gonna be specific, you know. And hey, the most high is all about yay, yay, and nay, nay. Yeah, you know. It's, it's like you got this demon, oh boy, and the Lord gonna whack side nigga, man. Oh, man. Nigga gonna uh well, he had uh this guy called the apostle on his show. Talk to this guy called Pastor Bennett. You know, the guy that's called Apostle, he knows he's a Hebrew Israelite. Now, he doesn't know the scriptures, you know, exactly, but he was making some good points. You know, and the guy, Pastor Bennett, he was he was making some good points, but he's a Christian. Ultimately, he wants everybody to be saved, you know, so he started going off into some other stuff. But long story short, they're reading scriptures that says all men will have all men to be saved. And side nigga, you know, the, um, you know, the, the, the black conscious Don King, this damn nigga gonna say, well, now, nah, apostle, it says all people, you know, you know, what I'm saying, but but shows you that guy see 
and this ain't about him, but I'm just thinking about this cat. Hey, you you Jay think this thing is a, a game. Yeah, you, it. yeah, you playing with the promise, man. You know, uh, we're gonna teach you apostles. This and this ain't no fucking money making uh thing that we're a part of. And the Lord gonna smoke side nigga, man. Which I never thought he was sincere anyway. Even when you know when he was going against uh you know gorilla Hebrew and talking about how he, you know you can have Frankie come out. And he's just an angry, upset nigga, man. But he knows something special about this truth, but he wants to use it for monetary gain. Lord gonna smoke side nigga, man. You know, you playing with the promise. Hey, this thing serious, man. As you want to say that, you got it, bro. Verse 22. <clears throat> with Isaac, did he establish likewise for Abraham, his father's sake, the blessing of all men and the covenant, and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him in his blessings and gave him a heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes did he part them and you know what what uh that that just makes total sense we would have to be the heirs of promise it, you know it's, it's a chosen lineage all right you, if you have an heir you know because your son will be your heir he would inherit you know in particular the firstborn son but he would inherit everything that you would have you know, there was a transition of uh of that power and, and also the law, statutes, and commandments being handed down, you know, from Abraham. You know, ultimately going back to Adam, but see, that legacy, it kept getting uh, you know, uh, confirmed. You see, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and resting upon the 12 tribes, man. So the heirs of promise, how could that be the heathen, the actual heathen? You got it, bro. This is uh Acts 26. And uh, and five, me and four. It says now this is uh, my five star one. I just read to the point and just going to that account when Apostle Paul was uh appealing to uh King Agrippa. That's one forty four. Oh man, come on man. This 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 is re this is our reality, man. Like you said, Jake here and think this truth, you know, is about debating, you know, trying to cut people. No, man, this is our lifestyle, man. This is us getting back to who we are and, and, and putting ourselves in position. All right. Yeah, how about Shima Shah putting us in position to receive this promise, man? You break it down, bro. Come. This is uh Acts. It's the book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 1. It says, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered for himself. Now Christianity loves to go to the writings of Paul to try to include all nations, man. But the apostle Paul had a thorough understanding, all right, about all right, the covenants, the first covenant, the new covenant, all right. He had an understanding about all right, the Gentiles with the Israelite foreigners that was prophesied to be brought back in. He had a very thorough understanding of that. You see, but when you read it on the surface level, you can try to equate all nations. No, man, it has nothing to do with these other nations. Verse two, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things world, I am accused of the Jew, especially because I know thee to be an expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews, whereof I beseech thee to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth which was at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem, know all the Jews which knew me from the beginning. If they would testify that after the most greatest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of the Most High unto our fathers, unto which promise our 12 tribes, instantly serving the Most High day and night, hope to come. For which hope sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. So the Apostle Paul is letting even this Edomite king, you know, yeah. from the Herodian dynasty know that look, I'm before you today, going back. The reason I'm before you right now is a promise that was made unto the 12 tribes. All right. So you gotta think back in Judea, it was mostly what the southern kingdom. So that's why the Apostle Paul, his office was to go. Until the Israelite foreigners, man, even those that was Hellenized, and then you will have sprinkles of, you know, the northern kingdom that was still around. You see, 
the apostle paul was going back to the promise and he was reestablishing the understanding of the promise that was promised to all 12 tribes man and now we in the time of promise yeah. all right yeah someone in yeah um you know jake just making some good points all over okay. but um yeah i'm gonna I'm read this going back up to the top yeah man, i got like two more mm -hmm. which uh you know I, I already had on the screen but i'm gonna i'm gonna read it anyway this by shathak shar mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 verse 39 for the promise is unto you and to your children which means sons and their lineage their seed mm -hmm. and to all that are afar off yep hey israelites scattered around the earth man. Mm -hmm. you know oh, yeah. even as many as the lord yahweh shall our power shall call yeah so we wasn't brought into we wasn't called into this thing you know to just be here and go through the motions no we was called in this into this thing to prepare ourselves to inherit this promise man you see this is a preparation phase we're supposed to constantly be involving and growing all right that's why brothers is loving you know the, the israelite heritage more and more you see you start to fall in love with their old way and despise you know this way that we was brought up in which was madness man why because this is the way we're gonna live eternally. Yeah. Like you, how yeah. you gonna despise the way we finna live eternally? Yeah. You eventually gonna live like this forever anyway. Yeah. You just gonna wait to the end, then it's gonna kick in. No, man. It's a, it's a. It, we gradually being conformed back to that ancient way because we finna see we receive an ancient promise. Yeah. You know. And that's fake love too. See, the Lord wants you to get it now. He wants you to desire it now. As opposed to when it's trendy because see in the kingdom everybody gonna want to be like this anyway yep you know just like everybody is uh seeking to cater the uh you know the edomite you know catering uh and, and envy them what's well, gonna be the other way around in our kingdom they're gonna see the cater to us and and, and they're gonna be envious of us you know we basically want to be like israel it's like everybody want to be like esau you know but see hey this promise once again, it entails power, man. That's the reason why we're getting so much opposition. You see? And it's only going to get worse because the closer we get to your house shot coming back, the promise is going to seem more and more evident, man. You got it, bro. Mm -hmm. This is, um, I guess I could do the running. Let me say 30. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, this is um Deuteronomy 31, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy power have driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shimao Shah thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, yep. thou and thy children with all thy heart. And with all that soul that's happening right now yep you know th that's what the hopeful elect are doing go ahead if i can just make some examples because mm -hmm. we keep the sabbath based on the new moons that's an ancient, uh, ancient commandment yep that's us coming back to the this was given to our people all right during the time of moses that first covenant so now we coming back we celebrate the passover what did that come from them ancient customs we doing you see brothers like saying to the stones to the incense you know brothers dies tweaking man you know brothers kind of a uh, uh, light on meat those are all ancient ways that we're coming back to you see verse uh three that then the lord our power will turn thy captivity and have compassion on thee return and, meaning reverse yep yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. re return the captives yeah because we're captive exiles man you know hey uh you read in uh first peter first chapter you know, speaks about the uh, the strangers. You, they were basically exiled to those different lands. Okay, and look at us. We've been exiled basically to the Americas, man, mm -hmm. and all over the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, those that are far off. And they say the same thing in, uh, in the book of Ephesians. Those that are near and those that are far off. All right? Hey, but hey, <laughs> once again, hey, the seed of Israel, 
you Edomites can't stop it. You know, hey, that's why you got this nigga, the real nigga. He saw the real nigga. You got Bill Gates want to block out the sun, saying because of global warming. Now, now let's say if that's his uh, you know, his, his original purpose for want to do it, you know. Hey, in the spirit, still is it's something within them, they really want to still get rid of Israel, regardless. So let's say if he actually want to do it because of that, it's something in the spirit that's tying them back to these prophecies. The reason why they want to do it because they want to get rid of us. Just like years ago, they were speaking about what if we nuke the moon? Like, man, what? Who would think of that? Yeah, yeah, who would think of that? But you read Jeremiah say that if they got rid of the ordinances in the heavens, mm -hmm. the Lord would do away with all the seed of Israel. Why? Because of the, the you know the promise. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, man. You got it, bro. And it says that that then the Lord thy power will turn thy captivity, have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from the nations whither the Lord thy power have scattered thee. If any of thy thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee. By way of Yahweh Shah, and he shall send forth his angels with the great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, mm -hmm. from one end of heaven to the other. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You see that? And it's a spiritual gathering first. Yep. We're being gathered by this word. Like we all here. Group. Yep. Everyone is here. You know, all the sincere brothers and sisters that's here now. Is gathered by Yahweh Shai. You see? So it's a spiritual gathering. And then Yahweh Shai going to come do the physical gathering of those that he spiritually gathered, man. You see? Yeah, yeah. hey, those that are in the book of life, man. Ain't yeah. no coincidence you being gathered by the word. Yep. All you brothers, man. You know? And you few sisters out there. Go ahead, bro. All right. And it says, And any of thine be driven out unto the othermost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Going back to his seed being as the dust of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, the sand of the sea, the stars of heaven. You know, and like he tells you in the book of Proverbs, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule the people mourn, now that word authority goes into great number. So Abraham's seed being the stars of heaven, it goes into us being in power, you know, and it's going to be a status thing, too, because <coughs> right now we're, uh, we're labeled the, the uh, minority, which really we're more than any people. But they saying that because of status, because the Edomites in power and our kingdom is going to be the other way around. Mm -hmm. You got it. Verse six. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Asha, thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Asha. With all thine heart. That's that second covenant. Mm -hmm. That new covenant. Lord making us perfect. Mm -hmm. But once again, it's showing you how we're compared to Abraham. Mm -hmm. You know, now he got physically circumcised, but the Lord, he's on to uh to spiritually circumcise his people. You know, take away that stony heart and give us a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, you know, program us to do the right thing, man. Because even for Jake that's just, you know, wicked as hell, even within them, Jake really want to do right. You know, but the Lord, he going to hey, say how all Israel shall be saved, but it begins with the elect, you know, Got it. and it says, and with all thy soul that thou mayest live and the Lord, how about you, my thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. That's part of the promise, too. Mm -hmm. And upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Blessed shall he be that bless of thee and curse shall he be that curse of thee. Who's fucking cursing us, man? Right now, the accuser of our brethren, man. And we were speaking about the serpent earlier, you know. Hey, and, and we ain't seen nothing yet. Hey, just wait. <laughs> when we really get closer, man, they really gonna have brothers on the news. If we already on Southern Poverty Law Center, they know where all the camps are. And certain camps, they newly finding out, you know. What you think they gonna do? Why you think vocab even exists? You know, a, a goddamn agent. How was he able to, you know, to travel all around America and visit these different Israelite camps? He's being funded. OK, so and hey, we're going to see, but it's not going to be stopped at the end of the day. You eat them. going to slavery, man. And y'all in great fear. The damn devil. Uh, Prince Philip died. All y'all getting knocked off, man. You know, so you're going to have to make a move. But we still come into power, man. You got anything else, bro? Yeah, this is I'm going to read this. Right, you can break down. OK, this second Samuel. Now, this is uh, Nathan coming to David. And see, one thing when you read the scripture, the most high will always, you know, um, prophesy about 
the promise that we was going to hear it in this time you know in the way it was worded you would know that it was speaking of the latter end and not during the current time mm -hmm. all right this is on second samuel 7 and 8 it said now therefore so that thou say so shalt thou say unto my servant david thus said the lord of hosts i took thee from the sheep coat from following the sheep to be ruler over my people israel and i will and i was with thee whithersoever thou winnest and have cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight and have made thee a great name like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth moreover i will appoint a place for my people israel and will plant them that they may go back to the promise mm -hmm. the, it's, it's a lot but just yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. the land that was promised to abraham and his seed yeah. you see that and now it's being reiterated to king david by nathan the prophet mm -hmm. you got it bro that they may dwell in the place of their own and move no more yep all right now we know during the time of solomon eventually the kingdom was rent right and our people went into captivity the assyrians the babylonians the medo persians the greeks the romans and eventually we was ran out of jerusalem yep. so we was moved so it wasn't talking about then they're yet remaining for rest uh -huh. it's going to be everlasting and it says neither and this is the point oh man neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time malachi 1 and 4 and men shall call them the border of wickedness yep. you know you edomites you know so and, and this is heavy because see during that time king david was conquering all the enemies of israel man so that would have to mean in the future because now you're afflicting the hell out of us esau all right but once the lord give us that power once he give us the promise mm -hmm. you ain't gonna be able to do it no more yeah okay you got this book is full of promise like uh what's that uh, uh zechariah 12 and 8 i just said uh the house it said the uh, day that is feeble among you shall be as yeah. david and the house of david shall be yeah. the Allah higher even the, as the angel of the lord yep hey so that's a promise like you said that power that's a promise brothers having you know even sisters have dreams about spiritual power that's the promise that's part yeah. of the promise man you know that's a whole lot of power going on too yep you're talking about you know like on a you know spiritual level a spiritual level being able to manipulate the elements being able to fly levitate you know have uh what's called what they call it a uh, telekinesis mm -hmm. you know you move objects uh with your mind and um and also telepathy being able to read minds <clears throat> you know hey doing all types of things but you got that and world domination and we're gonna have both you know so just hold on brothers and sisters you know hold on to the promise man don't look back you know forget this way forget black culture it's just dead literally lord knocking these rappers off so he's showing you it's because uh, what's his name black rob he just died too didn't he no yep. oh. like whoa <laughs> like whoa <laughs> and that's... whoa means destruction god damn you know destruction <laughs> of black culture destruction <laughs> of black culture like whoa <laughs> and lord got a sense of humor you know yeah, yeah so with that in closing no, you got it and so with that you know, bracket your house, 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 brac